Good afternoon YouTube. So before I m modify this uh, little USB hub uh, Avazar model, I wanted to take a look inside. The two end caps and the case just snap apart. Actually inside it doesn't look too bad. Here's your power jack, your incoming USB mini connection, you've got your four ports, and this right here is an FE 1.1S four port USB hub. I'll uh, try to cut in a shot of the data sheet, but it's basically just a four port USB hub chip. There's a little blue LED right there, and that lights up when you plug in the external power here. So if we go in there, there you go. And all that is, they have a 330 ohm resistor in series with the LED. There's a little capacitor there, and otherwise the power comes in from the jack, and it looks like it joins up with the power from the incoming USB. And then your power runs a long trace that runs all the way down that each uh, connector picks up. So that's your incoming power. And then the back side, they didn't clean off their flux. So I think I might get some rubbing alcohol and give that a little scrub before I put it back together. It looks like a pretty decent board. You've got a heavy ground plane. Here's your USB data coming in. And Here's where the uh, chip is, right on the back side there. So they must run the uh, data over there, and then that runs down to all four of the output sockets. Yeah, so the, this uh, Avazar USB hub uses this FE 1.1S high-speed four-port USB hub controller has uh, one upstream port, four downstream ports, integrated voltage regulators, 3.3, 1.8. The block diagram there, kind of show you what is set up there. It's not uh, terribly complicated. You've got your upstream port, your four downstream ports, your 12 megahertz crystal is off to the side, and looks like it you know, supports some LED status indicators that aren't connected. They don't have the power switch. I don't think there's any overcurrent. So they're they're basically just using the upper part there, so to speak. Yeah, so that was the uh, FE 1.1S USB 2.0 hub. I guess this chip has the ability to turn on various status LEDs for these. They don't have any of that wired up. So they're just using kind of the basic function, but actually that's that's okay by me. So I think I'm going to proceed along with my plans to replace the anemic 5 volt supply with my uh, DC buck converter. So I'll be feeding the input here with 12 volt DC. I'll set this to 5 volts output. So I'll just take this existing connector right here. I'm going to cut that off and solder that on right there. And then that'll be my power supply. So this, this device will be able to run off the same 12 volts that my home automation controller runs off of. So anyway, I'll show you what this looks like when I get a chance to uh, get the uh, wires modified. And I'll get it all put back together. And we'll have a... 12 volt DC powered USB hub. The other nice thing is if I ever go to the high powered radio on the serial gateway, I'll need a little bit more power for that, so I should have that power. And then I also have the option of coming off of the output here, and I could attach a separate 3.3 volt regulator for the radio itself rather than taking the Arduino regulated 3.3 volts. So that gives me a little flexibility there. I'll show you what this looks like when I get a chance to put it back together. If you have any questions, uh, put that in the comment section below. I'll put the, any video updates for this project in the upper right corner. And if you haven't already done so, there's a link to subscribe in the lower right corner. And as always, thanks for watching.